there is no limitation in the acquisition jobs for sitting in the company like mm-hmm. they always try to get you placed in company anyhow like they will get mm-hmm. you placed yeah mm-hmm. i i have sit for around two to three companies and finally i got placed in the at global 360 Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel I hope you all are doing good we are back with a new student testimonial video this video is going to be special for those who have an year gap and who also have a non tech background if you guys are interested in having a career in coding you can, guys can definitely check this out and even if you are a working professional who is looking to transition into tech industry this will be extremely useful to you guys as well so watch this video till the end and before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you are always notified on all our upcoming videos so for this session we have jayesh with us uh, jayesh completed his btech in mechanical engineering in 2022 uh, right after that he got a core mechanical job in a company called pinnacle infotech he worked there for a 1.5 years and then he because he wanted to move to it industry he then joined tcs as a system engineer uh, but again it was not a coding related job he wanted to pursue a career in software development and he joined acquio job last year in june and uh, being associated with us for the last one year he's finally placed in ad global 360 uh, at a 7 lpa package as a mon star developer so in this session we will discuss how his journey has been so far with us how he finally cracked this role as a mon star uh, developer and he will then be also sharing few tips and tricks what uh, you guys can also follow if you want to transition into this industry so do watch this video till the end uh, so without wasting any further time uh, let's move into the video uh, so welcome jayesh thank you for being here with us and congratulations for finally getting placed thank you shivan thank you yeah so uh, let's just start with your introduction so yeah hi shivani uh, my name is jayesh uh, i have pursued my btech in mechanical engineering from skit college jaipur i am a 2020 pass out graduate uh, if you talk about my career like professional background like i uh, i got placed from the uh, college itself like like i got campus placement only in the core mechanical company where i have worked for around 1.5 years and then i kind of decided to switch to the it field so i have joined tcs but again the, the work there was not coding related so yes. i joined aqu jobs to get myself skilled up in the field of web development <laughs> and got finally placed in at global yeah great jayesh theek hai so uh, let's uh, talk about your journey a little bit because you were doing a core mechanical job right and after that you already had made up your mind that you wanted to move to the it industry and tcs is also like one of the biggest it companies out there right and uh, again it was a decent role to have and it was in the it industry so can you tell us like what was the reason behind actually going for a coding job and not sticking to that uh, you know tcs job that you already had what was the motivation behind that okay so uh, since i have joined the mechanical company na uh, i didn't found my career fit for that uh, mm-hmm. since i saw more opportunities towards the it field like the people are doing uh, good work in the it field and getting pleased and getting a very handsome amount of salary mm-hmm. during their in- initial period mm-hmm. of their career so mm-hmm. i just kind of decided to move to the it field that's why okay yeah. so you realized that there are a lot of opportunities yeah. in coding exactly. specifically that was the reason you moved so yeah, exactly. uh, how did you get to know about aqua job okay so one of my friend who is also alumni of aqua jobs who was just placed on a very good package has told me about the aqua jobs like how his career has changed through aqua mm-hmm. jobs and what all new opportunities i can join with the help of aqua jobs in the it field so yeah okay. at that time i decided to join aqua jobs great jayesh so it's been a year for you uh, here at aqua job right you joined us last year in june and mm. you recently got placed so it's been more than a year i can say right yeah, so yeah. can you just tell us how this whole journey has been uh, what are what were the ups and downs that you faced and you can also share few things that you liked the most you know while being a part of aqua job and few things that uh, a student who is looking forward to have a career in coding can take care of because you have had this journey so far okay so i have just joined the aq jobs in 2022 june and from there uh, there only my uh, like preparation for the web development has started uh, 
uh, in the starting uh, we uh, the acujobs has taught us about the dsa like the curriculum of acujobs was very well structured we started from the dsa uh, then we moved to the front end part like html css javascript and after the front end we have completed the node js part since dsa is used in front uh, for the logical abilities so they have started with the dsa only yeah so can you tell us your experience of learning dsa because obviously you are from a non tech background right and data structures and algorithm is something which a lot of students find difficult to understand right so tell us your experience were you able to like uh, learn it smoothly or did you also have a rough time okay so my experience learning learning the dsa part was very good like i do have some of the uh, knowledge of coding like uh, i know about the c++ and the co- coding stuff so that was not a hard part for me like okay. uh, once uh, we have started from the basics in the dsa and then move gradually to the advanced side so yeah that was a great learning experience okay. Okay, cool, sir. Jesh, so uh, you were someone who was a working professional while uh, when you joined Akio Job, right? So you were managing your job full time, and then you were also taking out time to study with us. So can you share the schedule that you followed? Because uh, you know the classes also happen from eight to eleven, right? And then uh, you also have your full time job going on. So can you tell us how did you manage to take out time to do both at the same time? Okay, it was quite hard to manage both the things at the same time because my office timing is the normally ten to seven. and after, yeah. from 8 8 pm onwards the acute jobs classes had started so i just try my best to uh, like join the live classes only since <laughs> we can ask the questions in that and whenever i miss the live classes then i just prefer to like see the watch the videos in my free time yeah So, guys, your timings were like that that you were able to take the live sessions, right? Because and you also had that priority because you wanted to ask questions. But a lot of working professionals who have this job, uh, you know, who who maybe have a time slot, you know, later into the night, they cannot attend the live classes. Do you think uh, they can also manage by re- watching the recordings, or do you think uh, attending live classes is very much crucial if you are starting with your coding journey? Ah, uh, see, if you are able to. Uh... join the live classes na then it is well and good but in some case if you are not able to join the live classes then you can also see the recordings and also the acuj jobs is provided as a live out session which is almost open for the whole day and where you can ta- uh, ask the ask your doubts which you have got in, in the recordings and hmm. can be resolved in that Okay. So I think even if you are watching recording, uh, because yeah. the main reason why students attend live classes are so that they can have that one-on-one access to the instructor to ask, uh, you know, uh, doubts. But if you have that option available in one-on-one, even the later times, then also you can just watch the recording and watch your and ask your doubts in one-on-one doubt. Yeah, exactly. 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 Okay, great. So, Jayesh, moving on to the next question. Uh, there are a lot of things which are available in the Akio Job portal, right? You can watch uh, the recordings as well. You can do a lot of questions in the gym section. You also have one-on-one doubt section available, mm-hmm. and also a lot of uh, soft skills resources available, right? So, uh, har ek student ke apne apne you know favorite part hote hai, which they think that help them to crack any software development job. What was your uh, favorite part, which you know help you the most? Uh, and you use the most during your journey okay so i had i had used two things the most like one is the gym section and okay. second is the mock yeah okay. i have utilized it fully so my main uh, yeah so uh, i can say like the gym section is very crucial like where you can perform uh, and like write the code and learn how you can code mm-hmm. and there are also various platform but you need not to go anywhere else if you are having a good command over the gym section also i have uh, given many mocks to get myself comfortable with the interview perspective okay. so jay if you are saying that if someone who is a newbie to coding they uh, can do the gym questions only like the variety of questions are there enough they don't need to go to other platforms to try right yeah exactly okay so uh, as far as the mock uh, interviews are concerned uh, you were only taking the technical mock interviews or was the hr mock interviews was also something that you were consistently taking uh, so the talking about the mock sessions now i have taken all the mock sessions like even if uh, they are hr sessions or the technical mock sessions since they both are equally important in getting yes. the job mm-hmm. but yeah really i have preferred the technical sessions because in which uh, in those sessions i came to know about more 
questions like which can be asked in the technical interviews mm-hmm. which are very crucial okay great jaish okay so now let's move uh, on to the interview experience wala part you are finally placed in art global 360 so tell us a little bit about the entire selection process how did you apply to this company and uh, what was the entire process like how many rounds there were and uh, what kind of questions were asked in the interview okay so uh, recruiter uh, reached me out through a portal and okay. they had three round of interviews like first one is the first one is the uh, technical interview in which they have asked about the basic theory questions okay. the second one is also a technical interview in which they have asked for uh, for the hands on practice like they have mm-hmm. seen my hands on on this software and codings okay. and after that they have uh, the third uh, what we say the third interview was the hr session प्रोजेक्ट and they have given me the task which okay. i have given in the mock sessions of uh, aq jobs that was very helpful for me yeah okay. in that so second these, uh, so these projects jaish uh, you made in aq job only or you did it from somewhere else okay uh, so few of the projects were made in the aq jobs only like one is the code deck and the second one uh, and some of the uh, projects were made by me own mm-hmm. by my own which helps me a lot in getting that job okay theek hai jaish so theek hai to aapne mention kiya ki gym section was something jo aap bahut zyada use kar rahe the bahut tarike ke questions wahan se kar rahe the and luckily usi mein se questions aapke interview mein bhi aa gaye theek hai so that was about clearing the technical round and for hr interview you said that you used to take a lot of uh, mock interviews for that as well which helped mm-hmm. you improve your you know english or maybe communication skills so can you like tell us any other resources that you used or any other strategy maybe you followed to actually get really better at clearing you know hr interview round because uh, those are very much personality based and you uh, can't just you know <laughs> uh, mug up the answers you have to be really good at it and then they can see through your lies if you don't uh, tell them the truth right so tell us how did you prepare for that and how can students also prepare for hr interviews okay so the best thing that how they can prepare for the hr interviews is like giving the mocks only like they will provide you the virtual environment like how the interview mm-hmm. has been done and what all the what all questions are asked mm-hmm. in the hr interview and mm-hmm. also the instruct uh, the interview interviewer of the aq jobs na will mm-hmm. be giving you the solutions like how you have to answer the questions and also the uh, aq jobs has provided me the pdf like the mm-hmm. list of questions which are generally asked in the uh, hr interviews so they are kind of very important okay yeah. great so matlab aapne mostly jo आखियो जॉब के रिसोर्सेज थे वही यूज करे थे एंड देन हाउ दैट्स हाउ यू गॉट इट ठीक है सो जयेश इस वाली कंपनी में बैठने के पहले कितनी और कंपनीज में आप बैठे हो क्योंकि एक साल तो हो ही गया था राइट और साथ प्रिपेयर कर रहे थे सो टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट हाउ योर रिजेक्शन एक्सपीरियंस हैज बीन ओके सो आई गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक मेनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन सिटिंग द कंपनी लाइक देयर इज नो लिमिटेशन इन द एक्यू जॉब्स फॉर सिटिंग इन द कंपनी लाइक दे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गेट यू प्लेस्ड इन company any how like they will get you placed yeah i i have stayed for around two to three companies and finally i got placed in the at global 360 okay to aisa kuch reason aapne identify kara like ki why you were not able to get placed and something that you finally improved on jiske wajah se aapki finally at global 360 mein job lag gayi mm-hmm. okay so the one thing i have improved a lot is the confidence while giving the interview since i have given mocks in the on the portal itself so that helped me a lot in building my confidence during the interviews great so yeah i think uh, mock was the major reason behind yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because you were anyway doing a lot of questions you already had mm-hmm. some idea of coding the only thing that was needed from your end was to be more confident and yeah that's how you were able to crack the interview you yeah the main that- thing is like you can any day learn the technology but how mm-hmm. you have to Uh, represent yourself in the interview is also a main part yeah that's why yes yes 
definitely i mean uh, they are not just looking for people who can tell them the exact exactly, answer exactly. to the question yeah. they are looking for they want problem solvers and someone yeah. who is confident about telling the solution yeah exactly great jai shri okay so that will be all from my end uh, these are the questions i had in mind a lot of students jai shri from your background you know who have had a similar story who graduated some time ago it's been quite some time they are working at non coding jobs and they want to move to coding industry any message that you would like to give it to them so that their entire coding journey is a little bit smoother and they understand things quite well if you want to move shift your career to the it side and if you are you are in this it jobs then don't worry they will get you placed just be focused on your learning and yeah just keep okay. upskilling yourself every day great so jay one last question now that you are finally placed and your joining is also soon uh, will you be continuing studying with us uh, you will be doing more questions or do you think you want to give yourself some break for now uh, actually since i have said like you have to update yourself every day so i will mm-hmm. be practicing the questions in the gen sections and also i will be pres- making the mock other projects for my practice yeah okay. so that so i will be having a good hands on great it i think it's very important to keep yourself updated because yeah, exactly. this is anyway just a start and technology is ever evolve ever evolving so you will just have to continue updating and this is a great strategy jaish uh thank you so much for your time i hope people uh, watching this get inspiration from you and start their coding journey as soon as possible and yeah thank you for your time that is it for today's video guys i hope you all liked it with jayesh and you find inspiration from his story please like and share the video and don't forget to comment down below your queries that you want us to ask our students and if you guys are also excited about learning coding then just go to our website and register for the aptitude test this test will help you discover which course is best for you uh, both the courses have amazing instructors from top it companies and mentors to help you out with all your doubts so don't miss out on this incredible opportunity simply click on the link provided in the description below to learn more and register and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you guys are always notified on all our upcoming videos yeah thank you so much